Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In today's video, we are going to take up an exciting and challenging factorial equation problem x double factorial over x minus 8 double factorial equal to 5 double factorial times 8 double factorial. x belongs to positive integer. So let's get it started. By just observing our denominator, we can write x should be greater than or equal to 8. Now I will be writing the double factorial formula. N double factorial, it is nothing but the product of all positive integers from n to 1 with respect to their even odd parity. What does it mean? n times n minus 2 times n minus 4 times n minus 6 times and so on and we will stop at 1. Now even and odd parity. Let me write 6 double factorial. So I will be writing here 6, 6 times 6 minus 2, so 4, 6 minus 4, so 2. In this case, we need not to go to 1 because 1 if you will multiply, it is already there. Means it won't affect. Now come to the 5 double factorial. So it is 5 times 5 minus 2. 3 times 5 minus 4, 1. So here we are reaching to 1. So odd parity and this one is even parity. Let me write 5 double factorial value. It is 5 times 3, 15, which I will use in our RHS here. Let's calculate 8 double factorial also. So I will write here. 8 times 6 times 4 times 2, which will be 48 times 8. It is 384. So our right hand side is 15 times 384. What about LHS? So LHS I will use recursive formula. Let me write double factorial recursive formula. n times n minus 2 double factorial. or n times n minus 2 times n minus 4 double factorial and so on. So let us apply formula and values. Left hand side I will write that recursive formula. Okay. So x times x minus 2 times x minus 4 times x minus 6 times x minus 8 double factorial. Denominator is x minus 8 double factorial. Right hand side is 15 times 384. Now we can cancel these two double factorials. Now what is left? x times x minus 2 times x minus 4 times x minus 6. This product will be 5760. Now I will consider x and x minus 6 altogether and x minus 2 and x minus 4 altogether. Let us write x times x minus 6 then x minus 2 times x minus 4, 5760. Let's multiply these two product and the multiplication of these two brackets. x square minus 6x. Here I will be writing x square minus 6x plus 8 equal to 5760. Now I will be writing substitution or let us consider the manipulation step. See x square minus 6x is clearly visible. We can take substitution of a then it is a times a plus 8 is equal to 5760. If I will use manipulation how it would be x square minus 6x plus 4 minus 4. And here I will be writing x square minus 6x plus 4 plus 4. You can see 
it is if i will consider x square minus 6x plus 4 as a and this 4 as b then this bracket is a minus b here it is a plus b so i can use here difference of two squares identity or formula so i'll be writing here x square minus 6x plus 4 whole square. Let me write. a square is x square minus 6x plus 4 whole square. And b is 4. So I will write 4 square equal to 5, 7, 6, 0. x square minus 6x plus 4 whole square. And this is 16. 5, 7, 6, 0. Add 16 to both sides. x square minus 6x plus 4 whole square equal to 5776. Now I will take a square root both sides. So I will be writing x square minus 6x plus 4. This value will be equal to square root of 5776 so it is 76 so i will be writing here plus and minus 76 so two equation i will frame from here one with plus 76 another with minus 76 so x square minus 6x plus 4 equal to plus 76 x square minus 6x plus 4 equal to minus 76. So here I will be writing quadratic as x square minus 6x minus 72 equal to 0. And second quadratic equation would be x square minus 6x plus 80 equal to 0. Let's solve both the quadratic equations one by one. So I will write x square minus 6x minus 72 equal to 0. First quadratic x square minus 6x plus 80 equal to 0. Let us use method of factorization here. So minus 6 I will split. I will write minus 12 x plus 6x. So product will be negative 72. Now x is common from first two. So I will be writing x minus 12. 6 is common from last two terms. It will be x minus 12 equal to 0. Now x minus 12 is overall common. x plus 6 will be there equal to 0. Conclusion is x is equal to either negative 6 or 12. So condition on x was x should be positive integer. So we will reject this. So far accepted x value it is 12. Now let us consider second quadratic equation. It is x square minus 6x plus 80 equal to 0. I will only check discriminant. It is b square minus 4ac. Let's check. So I will write minus 6 whole square minus 4 times a is 1, c is 80. Minus 6 whole square is 36 minus 4 times a 3, 2, 0 it is. Which will give us minus 284. Discriminant is negative. So complex solutions will generate. I will reject this equation for our solution. So our accepted solution is x is equal to 12. Let's verify. I will write here x equal to 12. I will write both the sides of our equation. Let me write 12 double factorial divided by 12 minus 8 double factorial equal to this was 5, 7, 6, 0. Let me write this value. Now, 12 double factorial. Or better is to consider 5 double factorial as it is. Times 8 double factorial. It will cancel out. 
now i will be writing here 12 double factorial as 12 times 10 times 8 double factorial divided by this is 4 double factorial equal to 5 double factorial times 8 double factorial now this will be cancelled out now 4 double factorial let me write here 12 times 10 is left it is 4 times 2 and right hand side is 5 times 3 times 1 now we will simplify i can cancel 2 5 are 10 now 5 and 5 will be over now i will cancel 4 with 12 by 3 now left hand side is 3 right hand side is 3 that means our solution is true and verified so our final answer is x is equal to 12 and this will end this video i hope you enjoyed this video do not forget friends to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck take care of yourself bye bye